Hello Pisces, welcome to Lotus Heart Tarot. Um, we're going to do a pretty cool reading. This came to me in meditation. I'm very excited about it. I haven't tried it, but um, usually when readings come to me in meditation, they work out. <laughs> So we're going to take a look at your person's energy. We're going to begin with an archetype card. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I really um, I welcome you wholeheartedly. Um, these are general readings, so please keep in mind um, that just to take what resonates and to leave the rest. If you feel like I may be describing you instead of your person, feel free to reverse the roles. All right. For Pisces, please spirit, for Pisces, what energy is Pisces person in? What is their current archetype? Keep in mind, Pisces, no two people are the same. So, um, wow. Okay, so keep in mind, Pisces, no two people are the same. So obviously... I'm not, I can't possibly be, every single word I'm saying can't possibly be describing every single person's person. So definitely this is a reading where we take what resonates and we leave the rest. You guys are getting the fatalist and the falcon with the illuminator on the bottom of the deck, which Pisces I had determined would be you. Um, so <laughs> you are bringing some things to light within someone. Um, I have actually picked up on this energy in the readings that I've been doing leading up to this. There's a sense of, um, there's a sense of, there are certain things of life that we can't control within this person. There are certain things in life that we may not like, but we have to accept them. And we try not to focus on them. We try just to sort of deal with them. Um, kind of an energy here. And I've definitely picked up on this energy in the readings of someone who feels like they may be bound to something or they may be stuck to something because at one point they committed to being stuck to it. Um but with the falcon here and the fatalist, I feel there is someone rising above this mentality or like, I don't want to say rising above the mentality necessarily because we're talking about archetypes here, but it's like they're beginning to see there's a different way. There's a different approach. I feel Pisces, this is the role that you're playing in this person's life with the illuminator energy here. The falcon, you know, takes a high, they zoom out and they take a higher level approach and um, they're they're never really caught by anything unexpected. They they sort of see it all. So in other words, instead of not looking at it, just accepting it and being bound to it, there may be this other way to sort of rise above it, get the bigger picture, and not be surprised by the things that are coming at us at life, and to sort of prepare for them. This is a more confident energy. This is a more my fate is more in my control. This is more of you know, I'm just um, a, a person who is at the whim and the mercy of the universe and fate and things that I can't control. And the best I can do is just sort of ride the wheel with dignity and respect for myself and honor myself in the, the best possible way. Where this person is like, I trust myself. I trust myself to see what's coming. I trust myself to judge what's a threat and what's not a threat. Um, I trust myself to have the courage to go after the things that I want. It, it, this is an eyes wide open and this is an eyes shut kind of a situation. So I feel there is a bit of a transition here. Um, and I do feel like we're moving from this fatalist energy more into this falcon energy. And I do think Pisces, it is in large part because of you with this illuminator energy. Um, this illuminator energy is a very, very um, high vibrational, but it's also uh, potent, you know. This is, um, this is not just someone who is in the light, but this is someone who lights the light for you, you know, because they are their own living testimony, because they are someone who is living in alignment with themselves and with their core values and what is truly important to them, they become a bit of a pillar of conscious, consciousness. 
that um, makes it sort of clear where you fall on your spectrum? Like, how aligned are you? You know, um, because they're sort of the ultimate, I don't know why I'm getting this veining tool. Um, you know what I'm seeing are those two sticks that they use to determine where water is under the surface of the earth. But this is someone who relies heavily on their intuition to guide them, who, who knows who they are, who prioritizes what's truly important. I think they prioritize their happiness, their clarity, their inner sense of inner peace. And because of that, they don't, this person is someone who allows the external to be very, very important in their story. This is someone who knows that this, is, this story is about them with them. And that what happens external to them is external to them. And as long as they stay true to themselves through all circumstances, they will come out sort of victorious. Where this person is like, I, I have to ride the wave. I have to actively participate with this external world. And the external world is real. And I've got to deal with it. Okay? So I see a bit of a transformation taking place here. And... I feel very much, Pisces, like it has a lot to do with you and sort of not even maybe you telling this person anything, but just your life as your testimony illuminating it to those around you. We're going to dive in and get a look at your person's emotions at this time. Oh my gosh, Pisces, this one came flying out. And if, as you see, it's the only one that came upright. Your light helped me to guide me out of my darkness is what it literally says on it. Okay, so Pisces... You know, I feel, Pisces, that this person really looks at you and it's kind of like they may think that nothing can get to you or, you know, Pisces do sometimes have a tendency to put on a bit of a tough exterior or it may not even be like putting on a tough exterior. I know that they're, they are constitutionally very strong, a Pisces, Pisces are. Um, a Piscean is or a Pisces are. Um, there, there, there's this energy though with this illuminator and this wild energy of, you know, life is not going to get to you to the point that you stop being the light or seeing the light or focusing on the light in a way. It's like, You are different. You are wild and free. What steals our life? What is the thief of our joy is trying to conform, is trying to cut parts and pieces of ourselves off to be like everybody else or to fit into what other other people's systems and beliefs. And, you know, a, a Pisces have a strong spirituality and have a strong connection to themselves and to their highest and best. They are the high priestess of the Zodiac, right? So there's this energy of, you know, above all things, being true to the self. And I think that is very attractive to this person who feels like they are a slave to everything outside themselves. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and it says, wise, I found the wisdom needed to change my perspectives. And again, we have this owl energy, which is similar to this falcon energy, right? So I do see that this person is making this transition from someone who, who believes that their entire life is just sort of written in stone and they're just merely living it and they're doing the best they can, but there's not very much they can actually control to someone who's like, wait a minute, I can empower myself here. I can, yeah, I'm feeling a bit of like the rise of the emperor energy here, or maybe even the, ma the divine masculine energy here of just, you know, um, energy of action, but action based on a higher level perspective. 
this person is very attracted to you. It says, you make me feel things I can't even describe, passion. And then you have tame. You make me feel calm and free. I think your presence is very calming and freeing because you're giving this person a different perspective. You're showing this person that there are other ways. There is an alternative to what they believe and what they think just by being you and just by being true to yourself. Um, it's interesting because they're showing you as being wild and then they're showing you as having the effect of taming them um which is just it feels very strength card soulmate kind of energy to me and then you have this desire i miss the way you taste those soft lips on my face your warm embrace everything you gave desire this person hasn't stopped wanting you even if you're not talking to this person this person the the memories of you the fantasy of you the idea of you is still very very strong for this person and i do feel like this person feels a sense of gratitude to you for helping guide them out of this darkness you know this in this card this person is blindfolded they're not even able to see the light here their eyes are wide open and these eyes can focus from so high above the earth to see this tiny little prey on the ground that's probably just a speck of dust you know what i mean to them up there so there's there's this huge shift in vision that's really happening here and the way we're seeing things and the way we're looking at things that's happening as a result of this interaction with someone who was who is so true to themselves that they have seen things very clearly the entire time all right What is on this person's mind? What is troubling this person? Please show us. Okay, Pisces, another theme that has really come to light in the readings that we've done lately is that this person may have needed to free themselves from some kind of relationship. Um, there, this person I feel like is having, I don't, I don't necessarily want to say this is an ego death because I don't feel the trauma of that, but they're definitely having a complete recalibration. It feels more like temperance, a total rebalancing, a total shift of, you know, coming back into alignment, rebalancing the self, you know, instead of saying, oh, there's all these things I cannot control. It's like looking at, but what can I control? You know, it, there's a major shift here happening within this person. And I think it's, you know, when we shift as people, there are people in our life that can no longer go where we're going, that they no longer fit with us because we are now ascending. And unless they ascend as well, we're on two different frequencies. We're on two different vibrations and it's no longer compatible. And so oftentimes these shifts can be very painful because we have to leave behind things that are no longer in resonance with us. It doesn't mean that we've stopped loving them or we've stopped feeling something for them. Although that can also be the case, but you know, because honestly, typically what usually happens is it comes to this impasse. It comes to a point where it can no longer be avoided that we are on two different frequential planes. You know what I mean? It's like, it, it just becomes really clear. It becomes really obvious. And, and I think once it becomes obvious, it, there's something that does kind of automatically happen with our feelings. It may shift from love or something to like compassion or empathy of like, Oh, I was once where you are. I'm no longer there. I see your struggle. I understand your struggle. I too was struggling with that, but I can't help you through that struggle. I had to elevate myself and I know that you have the capacity to do that, but you got to do it you with you. So I'm going to leave you to it. Kind of an energy. Um, so your person is either having to walk away from another person, possibly an exclusive relationship. Um, or they are, and, or they're possibly leaving an area, leaving a location, leaving a job, leaving, leaving whatever is no longer palpable or, um, what is that word? Um, palatable for them in their new, um, resonance, you know, their new vibrational frequency. 
they're definitely rising up. I mean, this is someone who's very grounded, who's very stuck, who's very, this is the kind of devil type energy. And this is very much like higher level, more like, I sort of feel like the Hierophant kind of energy. But um, your person is going into a new life phase or a stage. Um, they, they're, it's like they're certifiably moving on from a certain place in their life here. Um, I feel like they really do probably give you a lot of the credit or it, it, even if they don't, it's like the universe does. It feels like you helped this person at a pivotal time in their life to make this transition or to make this change, or you may have even shown them the way just by being you or just by, if, if you have been in a relationship with this person, just by loving this person. Um, just, it's like you offered this person freedom. You showed this person that it was possible. You also have this core values on the bottom of the deck, which goes back to this feeling of what's in resonance with me. You know, um, they, they could have been in a relationship that was manipulative. They could have been in a, a relationship where it was a lot of tit for tat or, you know, manipulation. I keep feeling manipulation. And it's like, they may have realized, I don't want to live my life like this. That actually is not in alignment with who I am. I Like, I don't want to do the things that I'm doing. And I don't want to receive the things that I'm receiving. And it's because of the things I'm receiving that I'm having to do the things that I'm doing to maintain some kind of balance in the connection. And that's really not who I am. And so, it, it, you know, coming across you, Pisces, you may have shared a lot of core values. You may have shared a lot of um, core strengths or core beliefs even. And that may have for even further illuminated to this person just how far away they were from what truly mattered to them. And how important it is to be only, you know, to be intimately connected only to people that really do share your core values. Uh, with this exclusive energy here, I'm, I'm going to ask, I, I don't know if this is the past or if this is what this person is wanting with you, Pisces. So I'm just going to ask, what is this exclusivity? Okay. Yeah. So they're leaving a connection that wasn't enough for them. Yeah. So they're getting this exclusive is being clarified as not today hammer um, and not enough and then heartbroken. So this is this is a relationship that I feel like this person has tried to save multiple times or has saved multiple times or has made excuses or allowances for multiple times and they just can't do it anymore. They've got to have a strong boundary. It's like, I feel like they're dealing with someone who may have insecurity issues or something to where they really are relying on your person to like fill them up or to make them feel whole. And I feel like it's more than your person can bear, but I still feel that, that leaving this behind is heartbreaking. It is, it is, you know, kind of, um, what I'm getting is like closing a book. And even if the book, what was hard and was full of lessons, you know, when you devote your life to something or when at one time it was a dream of yours, or when at one time it felt like the whole world to you, it's still sad when something dies, you know, even if you can clearly see that it never was, it's still hard. So I feel like your person is going through some emotional despair and I feel like they are m moving away from a certain place. Um, let's dive into the tarot because I'm not um, seeing what their intentions are um, as far as you um, go. So we'll ask the tarot. What are this person's intentions when it comes to Pisces? Please spirit. With this deck, we can only take cards in the upright. That's what the deck, deck creator has asked. So just in case you see me flipping cards around, I don't want you to think anything. That's what it is. For Pisces, what is this person's intentions? Wow. 
with Pisces. What are this? Is this person's intentions? Wow, this one flipped around. Ah, oh, the sun. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got the strength card energy so huge. And in this deck, the lover's card looks like the strength card. This is actually the lover's card. But this this is like even more appropriate um, of, of a feeling of what I got with that tame and that wild card in the beginning. <clears throat> okay, so I feel like right now your person is not emotionally accessible. <laughs> We have the five of air and the queen of air energy. <clears throat> I feel like this person, it's like they're they're in an energy of like, if you talk to them or if you reach out to them or whatever, I feel like they will talk to you. Look at this owl energy. Some of you may be seeing falcons and owls. I feel strongly um, like sign synchronicity energy, mystical energy around that falcon energy and around these owls that we've seen since. So could already be a sign for you, but definitely if you're seeing a falcon or an owl right now, I feel like that is not a coincidence. <laughs> okay, I feel like it is a sign. You, um, but this person, it's like they, they don't, you know, spiritually, they're elevating. Heart chakra space, you know, I feel like they're de they definitely already know who their wish fulfillment is who, who their soulmate is, what they, what, what they feel here. However, this person, they're human and they have, they have, you know, thoughts and they have to, how do I want to say it? Like process and justify. I don't know if justify is the right word, but hopefully you know what I mean. It's like they have to come to terms with what has happened in their life mentally. And there is a sense with the five of swords of having feeling defeated or having lived through manipulation. And with the queen of air, it's like, I need to get my head right. So with it being a queen, this person is receptive. Like if you were to talk to them or if, if, you know, they're, they're sort of open. They're not totally open. They're not going to respond in a super emotional way. This is someone whose heart is at an arm's dist arm's length distance right now because they're processing something. They're moving through something. They can't, the, the feelings would bring them down. The feelings would kind of alter this, you know, looking at things from a higher level perspective it would it would lower their vibration. So I feel like they're kind of focused here on getting their own reality back, on getting their own truth back. Uh, I don't feel like they're trying to like completely cut themselves off from you or that or or you know send any kind of message your way, but I feel like they are instead sort of really wrapped up within themselves of sort of separating themselves from the fog and the haze of this. I feel like it's a manipulative relationship. Like if you've ever dealt with a narcissist and, and I'm not saying they had to be dealing with a narcissist. They could have, the person could have had narcissistic traits or, you know, could have just been very insecure or whatever. Okay. But like if I'm just going to take the extreme because it's easiest, but if you've ever dealt with a narcissist, one of the things they do is get you to question your truth is get you to buy into their version of realities to the point that you don't necessarily even know what reality is anymore, or you have sort of lost your like magnetic North a little bit. It's a little hazy. It's a little confused. It's gotten sort of recalibrated in a weird way. And I feel that this person is like trying to get back their magnetic North very in a very solid way. You know, I think they're seeing the big picture. I think they're knowing that if they are not really and truly recalibrated and it keeps coming across to me like this, like rebalanced, recalibrated, 
if they're not truly in their highest and best, and they're not truly seeing things clearly when they get into this relationship with you, they may bring this energy or this kind of tit for tat or, you know, manipulation type thing into this relationship just because that's what they're used to. And they don't want that. You know, they've already walked away from that relationship to get away from it. They sure, certainly don't want to bring that into what they feel is their wish fulfillment and this strong soulmate connection here. So, you know, this this is an energy of someone who's actively seeking clarity, who's actively looking at it from a higher level perspective, who's actively processing their thoughts, who's actively kind of coming back into alignment with their own truth, and who is healing from the survival of the sword cycle, which is being heartbroken being deceived, being manipulated, feeling defeated, you know, um, being backstabbed even possibly. So there's a lot that this person is kind of going through with these two energies here, but they're definitely not letting go of you, Pisces, nine of fire, nine of earth. This person is close. They're close to closing out their cycle with these two nines here. Nines are the completion. This person is not letting go. It, like they're literally very focused on their star, and the star is you, Pisces. So they're they're almost in a bit of a hermit mode. They're a bit guarded. They've survived. They're the wounded warrior. They've come out of it, um, and they're still holding on. They haven't given up on what they desire. They haven't given up on their wish fulfillment. Um, and they're definitely seeing you as someone who they would be very lucky to have in their life. You know, with the nine of earth, this person is really focused on embracing and getting very solid and stable in the energy of being single for sure. Um, this is someone who's like, I, I have to separate, but I have to be, I have to be comfortable being on my own before I can make the choice to go for my wish fulfillment. I feel like your person is being cautious and going slow, but I feel like it. there is a big purpose behind it. There's a lot of very solid energy here in your person's intentions. You know, um, it's like as soon as I feel solid and stable, as soon as I know I have survived this situation, then, you know, my focus is still and has been and will be on this wish fulfillment, on this Pisces, on my star here, um, and choosing this and going for this and harmonizing with this, being a frequential match to this is not easy. It requires healing. It requires health. It requires optimism and hope for the future. Um, and it also requires believing you know, remember that fatalist from the beginning with the archetype. And it requires, you know, in order to match this vibration from here, you've got to go a long, long way, right? Because from here with the star card, we believe that it's a benevolent universe and we believe that everything is unfolding exactly as it's supposed to. We believe in fate and destiny and that, this is a fundamentally good or a, a fundamentally born in the light kind of place. And um, we have hope, we have optimism, and we are coming from a space of not never having been wounded, not never having suffered, but in having truly deeply healed from our suffering, having truly deeply come to a place of peace and acceptance with it. And so that, you know, this person still has to get off the wheel and heal. Um, but with, with the, um, shift to the Falcon energy, we see that happening, right? So I, I feel like this person, I feel like they fantasize and they dream and they think about, you know, being able to just relax into this situation with you, Pisces, um, and I feel like that is their intention is to choose you and to, vibrationally match with you with the six of the lover's card and the star card energy here. It's like they have to really raise their frequency. They have to really raise their vibration and they do have to become very solid and stable on their own to match you. You're solid and stable on your own and they've got to bring that same thing to the table here. 
All right, Pisces, let me get you some messages. I'm going to go with these. For Pisces, dealing with a water sign. I forgive you. And are you ready? If you're dealing with a fire sign. I don't mean to ignore you. Please don't be angry with me forever. You're my reason for everything. If you're dealing with an earth sign, I am certain our union will happen. Open your heart to me, please. And if you're dealing with an air sign, I am making plans for us and I love you, baby. All right, Pisces, this is what I have for you. I hope it helps. Until next time, I send you off with all my very best. Always, always, always. If this reading did resonate, please, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.